Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. With Rob O'Hare. Sprite Castle. Hello, and look how creepy it is in here with the red lights. <laughs> Uh, boy, if you've been, uh, if you follow me on social media or you're one of my Patreon supporters, you know how glad I am to have, uh, lights in here. Our, uh, power, we've had, uh, I live in Oklahoma and, uh, it's been kind of a national news story. We've had a huge ice storm that, uh, that the trees still had their leaves. Uh, and so when the ice storm came in and, uh, we don't normally get ice storms in the first place and we got, not only did we get an ice storm, but, um, because the trees still had leaves, the ice, uh, it had more space. It made it, the trees heavier, and so that broke all the branches, and it broke all the power lines and stuff. So I've been out of power for the past three days, and uh, we just got power about uh, four hours ago. And um, we bought a generator today, and uh, we had to drive out of state to go get the generator. And so we drove. I didn't drive. My wife drove. Uh, I went to work to go charge all of our electronics. <laughs> we had to recharge our phones and our, our laptops and all that good stuff. And uh, so uh, we uh, did all that. We we um, I charged the electronics. So she went to, to get the generator. We came home. We got the generator hooked up. And uh, we were in the process of plugging things in, and the power came back on. <laughs> so if there's another big ice storm, uh, we'll be ready. But um, uh, I was afraid I wasn't going to get to play a game this week. And this is not the game uh, that I'm actually reviewing on Sprite Castle because I already reviewed this game a long time ago, but it's one of my favorites. Uh, in fact, uh, let me see here. Um, not too prepared tonight. This is kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing, but... Uh, I definitely wanted to, in fact, this uh, camera has a little weird angle. And there's a few things that just aren't quite right. Uh, but um, uh, this is uh, um, disc 39 from my original Commodore 64 collection. I talked about how I uh, started collecting discs back in uh, probably 1985. Uh, right before I got my Commodore 64 and I started numbering them one through uh, whatever. I got up to 600 and something when, when I kind of retired the Commodore 64. But this was disc uh, 39. And uh, as we can pull up here, let's uh, pull this down. And you can see um, uh, this exciting disc had Friday the 13th. It had Break Street, which is a fun break dancing game. It has Lawnmower Game. Uh, or lawn mowing game, which I believe is written in basic. We got Burger Time on side two, Lazy Jones, Mr. Do's Castle, and Gateway to Abshai. So uh, had I been uh, a good person and paid for all these programs, this probably would have been about three, maybe $400 worth of games. But for me, it was just download, download, download. That's what my childhood was about. It was a, uh, not a very moral childhood, but... Um, uh, so anyway, there's something that's happened. Uh, you know, I, I uh, have uh, turned all my old discs into D64 disc images, but for some reason, uh, that one uh, doesn't uh, load. It doesn't run uh, Friday the 13th. It just locks up for some reason. So I still have my original, so I may retransfer it and see if something happened to the D64 actual the image. Or if uh, maybe when I converted it, I didn't try it, and maybe it was uh, um, uh, didn't convert properly. So um, Friday the 13th, we're playing Friday the 13th because this week is Halloween, and this is one of my favorite uh, Halloween movies. I love uh, the original Friday the 13th. I love uh, all the Friday the 13th movies. Um, this is a tad bit loud. So that's a tad bit too quiet, and that is... As they say in porridge terms, just right. And I believe we should see the intro here in just a moment. Oh, what a great... I have so many great uh, memories of this game, and I talk about them all on the old uh, episode of Sprite Castle, but uh, uh, this is a game that I got a copy from my friend Jeff, and we would... Uh, play Friday the 13th, we would um, sit in front of his computer monitor and we would put a blanket over our head so it was just us 
in this dark area with the monitor and when those things would would pop up every now and then those little digitized screams and things like that it would uh uh make us jump and um uh if you haven't listened to that episode it's a it's an old episode and even if you have it's been a while so you probably forgot but um friday the 13th is a very flawed game there are some serious bugs uh when i say some there are dozens of serious bugs in this game and um uh someone later went through and fixed it and re-released it i believe is saturday the 14th um but uh let's get my joystick settings here um come on uh, you know the problem uh, it, it's all it's all fun and games with the red lighting until you have to hit something on the keyboard <laughs> You can't reach your own keys because it's dark. That's fun. Uh, so the um, uh, this game is uh, there's some some uh, things that happen in this game that are I mean they're just broken. And somebody went back years later and went and fixed the code, and it's a much better game. But we're not playing that version because uh, this has so many bugs, and some of the bugs are uh, what I used to love about this. So. Uh, and Friday the 13th, essentially, uh, there are, I believe, 10 kids. I believe they're all camp counselors. And uh, Jason is running loose. And so he's trying to kill people. And you have to kill Jason before he kills all the other kids and or yourself. Um, and so we will start here. These are the some of the uh, counselors here. <laughs> you can see that's some... Uh, a far cry from what we would call high-res graphics today. Um, I'm hoping this is not the um, fixed version. I'm hoping this is a, uh, uh, the old broken version that I'm used to <laughs> playing. Uh, unlimited energy? No. Uh, unlimited time? No. Start all time with the axe. That would be good, but I'm going to say no. Um, so here we are as Jerry King, and I don't remember, I should, uh, it made it a little difficult there uh, when it was showing the counselors, but the uh, the drawings here of the kids don't really match the drawings of, of the counselors. So there was one that says Jerry King, and I'd have to go back and look, but uh, he may or may not have had blonde hair or whatever. So, so we're starting the game as Jerry King. I'm going to see if I can turn that down anymore, or if that's it. Yeah, that's it. So uh, we have started inside a building here. This is actually inside the uh, sanctuary, and there's um, all different. Uh, did I have the wrong joystick port? I thought I switched. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So uh, uh, so these are kids walking around, and we can walk around. And uh, what we're looking for really are weapons, uh, is the primary thing we're looking for uh, right now. And uh, I don't see anything here, so. Uh, just gonna go outside. You'll hear the music change quite a bit depending on where we are in the game. There's uh, three or four different songs, and we are walking around. I mean, oh! Now there are things going on down there at the bottom. You can see in the bottom left is my face, and then there's the barbell there, which is actually a scareometer. And the more uh, that Jason is around, or that we get scared, oh! I almost didn't see this. There's an axe. And now, oops, as we're moving, we can attack with the axe. Now, um, here's a random kid. <laughs> um, and you can see how the uh, scare meter is starting to draw Jason's face there. That's what that's going to be. You're not supposed to attack the kids. Uh, but I just did. <laughs> and you can see we've, we've killed that child and turned him into a tombstone. Now, uh, because this is the broken version, notice that we can temporarily uh, resurrect the kid um, <laughs> by hitting him some more. And actually, if you do this enough times or hit him in the right place, uh, you can actually bring people back to life, which is uh, a really bug <laughs> that you're not supposed to be able to do. Uh, all right, we're enough of that kid. So, um... The uh, the point, again, is to go find Jason, and that's what we're doing. We're, we're wandering around. Now, there's a, a stick. I'm just going to switch just so you can see that it's a stick. Um, but the axe is really really the, the best weapon, I think, in the game. But there's a lot of weapons. There are a lot of dangerous things 
that people have left laying around this campground. Now you see uh, the screens are wrapping around. There's only so many screens here. There's the stick again. So we've got to move up here. Uh, there's a few different buildings. There's a church. I believe there's a school. Uh, there's a house, a farmhouse. Um, now, you can see that somebody else has been killed down there. Oh, there's Jason. So Jason is in all black. That's Jason. And uh, he's going after somebody. But we got to catch him. Come here, Jason. Oh, now see how he's turning into someone else? Oh, we got him. We killed Jason. Uh, so how he was turning into someone else a little bit, that is a bug in this game, and that makes it incredibly easy. Now, as a kid, I just had a weird pirated copy of this. I didn't know. I didn't have the instructions. And so we assumed that when you, uh, because it, it, you notice when I was hitting Jason, he would turn into the kid. But also, so Jason disguises himself as as kids, and if you hit the kid that is Jason, it will flash and show Jason. But it's not supposed to. That's It's not supposed to work that way. But we thought that was the point of the whole game, was to go around just attacking people until one of them started flashing as Jason. But it's really not supposed to do that. that that's a bug uh, in the game. Now, there is a, uh, a point to the uh, sanctuary there is that you can find this cross uh, somewhere in the game. And if you find the cross and take it in there, uh, you can lead people there and they'll be safe. Um, but who wants to play the game that way? Not, well, look at that. This is two times in a row where I found the axe. There really are a lot of different weapons in this. It's just a coincidence. Here's a spear. Let's just get the spear just so you can see something different. So there just goes an innocent kid. And she's like, hi, what are you doing? Oh, oh, maybe I'm throwing spears at you, lady. And it's amazing that this um, uh, camp stays open. <laughs> so you can see I... But she's not turning into Jason. So even though it's kind of a cheat, I know that, that that's not Jason. Doo, doo, doo. Old McDonald playing. We're going to check the sanctuary here one more time. Oh. It's a creepy looking thing on the wall there. Yeah, we know that girl. Oh, there's somebody else. That's also not Jason. I was going to kill him anyway. Because <laughs> that's what kind of camp counselor I am. Hey, how was your summer? Well, this lady, Wendy, just went around killing people for no reason. Oh, you want to go back? Not really. <laughs> they go pass. saw somebody there, but now, oh, there's somebody. See, so not Jason. Now, also, there's a thing. <laughs> As your skewer meter goes up, eventually we'll start showing you these weird um, digitized pictures to try to scare you. I mean, I don't know if they're really digitized pictures, but um, these, these steel graphics and it'll scream at you. <laughs> Oh, it's Jason! Now, I don't know that I could kill Jason with this weapon. That would be a lot of fun if I can't see him. Oh boy. Now, so when you're going up and down and you hit attack, it always throws to the right. So if you can stay on that person's uh, left, it gives you a big advantage. Go and chase it. Oh no, don't lose him. Did he go in there? No, there he is. So I see Jason's killing that kid. Let's just let him kill that guy. <laughs> Eventually, Jason will come for us, but. But, not yet. We're not scared enough yet. This weapon is terrible. Oh, now he's coming for me. He's coming for me. Uh, Jason. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know if these are 
I guess they're hatchets. It looks like a meat tenderizer. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got him. I was going to get that tried and stab him in the head. <laughs> this game is, is fun and, and awful at the same time, isn't it? I'm going to tilt this mic back just a little bit. Uh, so you can see now we are Amanda Baxter again. We're uh, I know I think this is um uh, so somebody is this is a partially fixed version because um uh on the original the one that I had it just alternated between the same two kids over and over uh and uh, uh oh what was that a little knife we can do a little stabby stabby with that there we go. Hey, welcome to my church. Oh, it's the Church of Stabs. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so you do get a bonus for however many people uh, that are left. Uh, oh. I am Neptune. <laughs> Gang of the Trident. I think uh, I think I remember one time, I, I could be making this up, but I think the grid is... Um, six by four uh of of available room so there's not uh there's not that many places to go oh now see this is the um the sanctuary uh cross so let's take this and uh get out of here. i also like that there's a cemetery right here like on the camp grounds like hey where are you gonna build your camp oh i don't know there's this cemetery i thought it's kind of cool I think you gotta take it. I think you have to take it to this room. I could be wrong. Okay, so this guy should come in here. Yeah, see, so now he's frozen. So you can get people in there uh, and freeze them. But it doesn't work forever. Uh, they will eventually uh, work their way out of there. But you can kind of go store people there. Uh, and so, oh, look, someone just left a chainsaw laying around the camp. That doesn't seem like a good thing for children. You know why? Because bad things could happen if you just happen to have a chainsaw around. You might accidentally start chainsawing children. Okay, that kid went into there. Yeah, see, there's, now there's multiple people. Uh, and they're like, oh, I'm just, I'm just here. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry, I chainsawed you. I didn't want to. It's Jason. Now, will Jason be frozen? No, I think Jason changed into one of those people. Oh, well, that's silly. Got away from me. Better check the graveyard here at the, ch at the children's summer camp. <laughs> It's amazing that uh, people keep sending their children to the camp. Like, after after once or twice. Like, oh, you remember that camp we went to last summer where the the lady went crazy? Oh, the serial killer? Nope. Just the camp counselor. Oh, yeah. She stabbed everybody with a hatchet? Yeah. Well, oh. Jason got somebody. Jason's on the loose. Well, you're going back to that same camp next year. Oh, I don't, I don't want to, Mama. Mama, I don't want to go. Where are you going? Me and your father have to have our alone time <laughs> this summer. Oh, we haven't seen this yet. This is the uh, house here. Uh, not, I mean, every building is built the exact same way. There, it's a square. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, you're not Jason, but you know, oh. You know what? Not so much of a fan of people with green hair. It's kind of a... Ooh, Jason's getting somebody too. I used to have a um, Yamaha keyboard. Uh, I got it for uh, my birthday in 7th uh, or 8th grade, I think. And uh, I could play the basics of some of these songs. I couldn't play them very well. But I would play do 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 I wish I could harmonize better. I wish it weren't late at night and my family were trying to sleep. Mother's gonna be like, what were you doing? Oh I'm just 
giving some children the old stabby stabby treatment. I'm gonna let my scare meter get up just a little bit higher. You can see the uh, face, the hockey mask down there in the, the uh, scare barbells. I believe once you get scared all the way, I believe the level's also over and, and you, you fail the level and you die. I uh, also noticed that my hair, remember I had that nice little picture in the bottom left there and now my hair's starting to stand on end. I'm starting to get a little more scared. Oh, I'm gonna try this old trick. Look what I'm doing with the spear meter too. Yeah, but that's actually a bug. You're really not supposed to be able to hatch at dead people. I mean, you can. It says what we can and can't do. The game can't tell me what I do. You're not my boss. I mean, I guess game's kind of like the boss and make the rules. Where are you, Jason? There's not that many places to hide. This is another one I would play. Beep boop. If you go out in the woods today... Oh, it changes depending on the uh, location. Oh, let's see who you are. No, not Jason. But you know what? Maybe I'm Jason. <laughs> Maybe I'm really the bad guy of this story. Should go back to Teddy Bear Picnic. Jason. There's Jason. Howdy, partner. Oh, he's trying to hit me. You're not gonna hit me, buddy. You're hitting me. Oh no! Oh dear, you seem to have lost your head. What a shame. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Score 16,000. Uh, and now we're back to Jerry King. So, the game starts over. We died. We lost our head. Ha ha ha. <laughs> it's not really a very nice way to end a game, is it? I um, will tell you in the same breath that I can do it literally in the same breath. <gasps> that why am I being so goofy tonight? Um, this is a ridiculous game that there's no point to it really. Oh. Um, I mean it's a very simple game not much to it and even when you die like there's really not much difference between when you die and when you you beat a level you know what i mean like like i mean you just start over and you keep going to the same thing so it's not really much difference between dying and not dying but uh i have played this game literally for hours like uh and and i'm not proud <laughs> of that fact like uh but i have just sat you ever have those games that you play that you just can zone out to and maybe you're, oh, de-stressing from something or maybe you're just, um, you know, wanting to kill time or sometimes there's those games like every time that I, I set up an emulator, there's a game, you know, I'll, I'll throw a, like every time I set up a DOS machine, I, I load up Rogue, uh, the old version, you know, you, you've probably heard of Rogue Lights, so I used to play the original Rogue. Uh, from Epics, and uh, well, actually the original wasn't from Epics, but the version I have was from Epics. And um, come back here, I'm trying to chainsaw you. And um, it's just like a, a go-to thing, right? Like the first time that uh, that I fire up a DOS machine, I always have Rogue ready to go, and uh, you know I always give it a play. And it's the same thing about. Whenever I set up a Commodore system, I would like to see if you're Jason or not. Um, when I fire up a Commodore emulator or, or I'm building a new system or whatever, uh, one of the first things I will do is uh, play Friday the 13th. Uh, and sometimes I'll play it too long. <laughs> Again, not proud. 
Okay, oh no, that's not Jason because Jason just killed somebody somewhere. So now you see why that one cheat said, do you want to start with the axe? Because uh, the axe is uh, by far the uh, easiest weapon to wield. Uh, does the most damage. And uh, you can wander around this game a lot, like trying to find better weapons. You would think the chainsaw would be better. The chainsaw is not particularly good. There's um, uh, weapons that you throw. The spear, there's uh, uh, little tiny uh, handheld pitchforks, there's that little hatchet, small hatchet, uh, or mallet, whatever those are. Uh, so those are all the things that you can throw. And then there are these little hand-to-hand, -hand, the uh, chainsaw, the trident, they're all kind of uh, similar. Oh, hello Jason, if that is your real name. That is his real name. Jason Voorhees. God, why does this weapon suck so bad? You know what doesn't suck so bad? I know I was hot on the trail, but I'm gonna have to cut it off. In here somewhere. In here somewhere. Oh, I forgot there's an extra set of rooms in this one. Oh, don't get away. Just wanna. Is it that much to ask that I just wanna kill you? <laughs> <laughs> Jason is dead, but for how long? Eight people equals bonus of 8,000 points. And then we go down to Wendy Watson. And by the way, there is no difference uh, in any of the characters. I mean, other than their, their little sprite colors or whatever. I mean, there's no... Uh, none of them are faster or slower or better with any weapon or anything like that. They're just different sheep to be led to the slaughter. Jason Slaughter. I don't know what your favorite gear. I don't know if you're. Uh, you have to tell me if you're a uh, Friday the Thirteenth fan. Um, I lost. I lost track as a kid. I know there was Friday the Thirteenth um, one, in which Jason was not the killer. Right, Jason's mom's the killer in the first one, and then there's Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, and Jason is the killer, but he doesn't even have a hockey mask in Number Two, and then Number Three is. 3D, and that's where he gets his hockey mask. And, uh, let's see. And then there's the one where Tommy Jarvis becomes the killer. I don't know. I, I lost track. I, I remember going to the movies. There was the one where, I think it's number four, where uh, uh, Jason had been chained in a, to a rock and he was in the lake. And then lightning hit him and he came alive. And, I mean, I think at that point you were like, well, I mean, you. Oh, look, there's a twofer. I can stab everybody. Nope, you're not Jason. And you're not Jason. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good. Uh, a lot of good. And by good, I mean bad uh, Friday the 13th movies, but I love them. Um,. I love, uh, I really wanted my kids to, uh, experience Friday the 13th movies, uh, and I wanted to be that, uh, I remember before I had kids, I said that I was going to be that parent that would, I would just let my kids watch anything and do anything. Oh, I didn't mean to kill you. I'm just kind of doing a little stabby stab to see if you were Jason. Sorry. Not my fault. Shouldn't have let me stab you. Well, 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 look who showed up to the party. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> I stabbed his toe. I killed Jason by stabbing his toe. 
congratulations, Jason is dead. But for how long? I'll tell you how long until I hit my button. And now Jason's not dead. <laughs> so that's how long he's, he's dead. For not very long. Oh, see, look. So I guess it doesn't have to be in that one room. It could be anywhere in the sanctuary. So when I pick it up, notice all those people are uh, walking around again. So if we could just go leave it here in the main room of the sanctuary. Actually, we'll put it here by the front door. And then we'll just come back and start stabbing people. And a church. That's nice. That's nice, O'Hara. Um, the first Friday the 13th movie I ever saw was at my friend Jeff's house. Jeff's Jeff's mom would, I think, let him watch just about anything. And um, my parents uh, would not. I had seen... Um, uh, the first Nightmare on Elm Street. I think I saw that. I saw that. the first two horror movies I saw were Nightmare on Elm Street and uh, Children of the Corn. And I saw those both in, in sixth grade. And um, uh, Jeff, when I met Jeff, I've told that story. I met him in seventh grade, and then uh, I went over to his house. Hello, Daddy. Come on. Um, I went over to the first time I ever went to Jeff's house was uh, for a Halloween party and uh, let's see Jeff Jeff had this <laughs> Jeff had this mask that uh, was really cool uh, it was a uh, like a uh, uh, Charon type you know what I mean like a, the river sticks kind of Charon by the way watch this you can you can stab through walls and stuff, so that's another way to, uh, if you want to protect yourself from Jason, just go on the other side of the of a wall. Oh, hello, Jason. Where'd it go? That doesn't seem fair. Don't worry, I'll stab you soon enough. There he goes. Jason. Oh, yeah, I think that was part of the original game, was that Jason doesn't get frozen by the crucifix, but all the other kids do. And so that was a way that you could tell whether someone was Jason or not. I prefer killing them. <laughs> um, oh. Where am I? Hello, Stabby. No, he's still he's stabbed. He's like right on the cusp between the doors. Don't mind me, I'm just stabbing this child. Ugh. Don't you walk away from me when I'm stabbing you, mister. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna see where it was. So I've gone to uh, Jeff's uh, Halloween party, and uh, he was uh, Charon, and I had this uh, uh, cool werewolf mask uh, that I got from the store, and I wore it with uh, overalls and a flannel shirt, and so I was supposed to be like a farmer uh, who had turned into a werewolf. Uh, it wasn't a great costume, but uh, while we were there, Jeff's mom had uh, set up some games. I remember we played uh, volleyball in the living room with balloons, and uh, we did some other stuff. But uh, the uh, oh, wasn't that Jason before? That's Jason. Um, but one of the things we did was watch movies. Good gravy. This weapon is no good. Look how bad this weapon is. I feel like, even without, you know, training, I feel like I could probably kill somebody with a pitchfork pretty easily in real life. And 
eventually he's just gonna get sick of my shenanigans and kill me. I would. You're getting it tried it, boy. Come on. It's not you. Where did try it, boy, go? It wasn't him. That should be stabbing him. Oh, good job there, Wendy. There's a lot of screaming in this game. Oh dear, you seem to have lost your head. What a shame. Ha, ha, ha. And starts over. It's Jerry King, so well, let's wrap this up. Uh, not because it's not fun, because I will be here probably now. I'll be playing this all night. So <laughs> what's this game? It's just a, uh, like a mindless, you know, mindless thing where you can sit and do whatever. Let's go. See if we can find any other weapons we haven't seen. But uh, in the uh, living room of Jeff's Halloween party, he had put on um, the original uh, Friday the 13th. And I mean, my biggest memory of that was that it had nudity. And um, uh, his mom was in the living room. <laughs> so that was a, uh, a new experience for me, you know. I, uh, I was still in seventh grade, was probably of the age where... Uh, you know, my parents would let me watch a movie that had nudity, but then they would definitely be like, okay, close your eyes. And then it was like the honor system. You had to close your eyes and uh, uh, not peek when the tops came off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, that was the first time I went over to Jeff's house. And uh, I remember going into his bedroom and... Uh, being like, hey man, what what is that? And he's like, well, that's my Commodore 64, right there in his bedroom. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get me one of those. And that's a stupid version of that story. I knew what a Commodore 64 was. <laughs> my friend uh, Andy had a Commodore 64, and I had played on it for years. So that story was just made up. I mean, it wasn't really made up. Like like he did have a Commodore in his room, but uh, but I knew it. But I did definitely get a uh, copy of this game and probably this entire disc uh, from Jeff. Uh, so this, this, uh, that's where I would have got Friday the 13th. I just want to kill, I'm going to kill Jason one more time here and then we'll, we'll wrap this up. And Jason's on the prowl. I used to sometimes play this to see if I could kill all the kids before Jason, which is uh, not a nice thing for a camp counselor to do. Doo -doo -doo. Where are you going? What are you thinking about going to that little sanctuary? Because I'll tell you a secret about it. It's only for the living. <laughs> What do you think of the LED lights? Well, I'm getting my money's worth out of those uh, LED lights. Um, and not just, uh, uh, I mean, it's good right now also because, uh, I mean, how many times do I have to stab this girl in the face? This is one resilient girl. Thank you. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to die. <laughs> Let's just... Kill them all! Let Jason sort them out. I remember um, going to the movies as, I don't remember what year this was, a 2000, 2000 something to go see the uh, Freddy vs. Jason movie, and I thought, this is going to be awesome. And when I left, I thought, this was not for me. I have outgrown. Silly horror movies. But then I started watching silly horror movies again, and then I did a podcast where I talked about silly horror movies. And silly movies called Multiple Sadness. Well, oh, it's gonna be a little steady. Just what the doctor ordered. My hair is starting to stand up over there. I 
I was really hoping uh, one of those uh, digitized pictures would show up. Again, I call them digitized pictures. They're not really uh, digitized. You'll see they're really actually uh, pretty poorly uh, hand drawn. But uh, and maybe uh, that was a uh, something that only happened in that version that I had. You know, maybe uh, maybe it didn't happen uh, very often. Or maybe there's something that's supposed to trigger it. Maybe if I'm scared all the way or something, then it would. Uh, trigger it. We'll do a little experiment in here before we before we wrap things up. I hope um, if you have kids, I hope that you have uh, some sort of fun and safe plans for Halloween. Uh, oh, I mean, can we not wrap this up with the the axe? By the way, when we're done with this level, there will be no survivors. So let's just get that in the clear. What's going on with Wendy? She hasn't been acting herself lately. Well. Oh no, I think I'm Jared. So the trick is, by the way, when you're going to kill everybody, uh, if you find Jason, you can't kill him. <laughs> because it would end the level, right? Uh, so we have to be careful not to kill Jason. A lot of these songs are uh, intertwined in my head with uh, that Yamaha keyboard had, um, uh, you know, demo songs that would play, and then I had another uh, Commodore demo thing that would play demo songs, and, and I think it may have had a different version of Old McDonald or something. Oh, there it is! Did you see that? Oh, yeah, and so... So Jeff and I would, would sit with our head under the covers and make the room as dark as possible, you know. And uh, and then when something like that happened, like you walk into a room with a dead body and it would do that little thing, oh, we would jump. And uh, of course, you had to turn the volume up all the way, you know, uh, so to try to scare ourselves. People are dropping like flies. Sometimes people seem to uh, go through different ways that... Okay, so that's Jason. Let me see what he looks like in his disguise. No, he's not disguised. Help me! Jason's got me! Nah, I'm just going to come watch. <laughs> I'm a voyeur over... Oh, I just walked through the brick wall. I didn't know he... That was a weird bug. Did you see that? This game is buggy, man. <laughs> Rise from your grave. Wise from your grave. Uh, so there's only three people left. Other than me. The other killer. Really, this is the game about two serial killers. Jason and me. So, uh, like I said, there is a... Uh, uh, there's a couple different versions. If you go look on um, CSDB, the Commodore Scene Database... Uh, look up Friday the 13th and you'll find there is one fixed version of Friday the 13th and then there's one called Saturday the 14th which is uh, uh, oh I thought I lost my axe okay we'll try this from over here uh, where's Jason oh look I brought it back to life you see that? How can I ever repay you for bringing me back to life? Well, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> By the way, when you bring him back to life, it only takes one uh, one hit to uh, kill him again. <laughs> but it's a buggy game. I tried to tell you. I warned you, but you insisted that I play it anyway. And here we are. There's a uh, so you saw the picture of the uh, guy getting his head cut off. And there was another picture that pops up sometimes of a bunch of skulls. And I was kind of wanting to see that. But look at the Jason mask. It's almost complete. And look at my hair. Look how scared I am. So I don't know if that last person dies. 
if the level's over or not. We'll find out. Here. Whether it is or whether it isn't, this is the last, the last hurrah. Wake up, wake up, wake up, Billy. Oh, you see him flopping around over there on the other part of the screen? <laughs> like, here's the thing. Um, uh, I, I try not to make fun of games uh, because I can't write one. Like, people go, oh, well, if, if it's so bad, why don't you write one? I can't. My game would be doo-doo. Um, <laughs> so, uh, oh, so there's Jason. There should still be one other person around. We're just going to be... Oh, it's back there. Jason has some private business to take care of behind the schoolhouse there. Is it coming for me? Yeah, it's coming for me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Jason. <laughs> Fortunately, we go... We walk about one and a half times faster than Jason. <laughs> Eventually, we'll just lap Jason and we'll come up behind him here in a minute. <laughs> We don't want that though. We don't, I really want to find that. Other. Oh! Oh no! I dropped my stupid weapon. No! 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 I dropped my axe. I'm trying to circle around <laughs> to get my stupid axe. There it is. I mean, and he is coming for me. Look at that. But I can attack him through the fence. Oh no, and now he's gonna get me. Look how scared my guy is down there. I am scared. My hair is straight up. Oh boy. I'm just looking for one more child to kill. If you, Jason, if you can just hold off on your plans to murder me for a few minutes. Oh, I wonder if she's stuck in the um, sanctuary. Let's try to find the. <gasps> Golly, that Jason guy is everywhere. Just like in the movies. He's just walking slow. And then sure enough, he just shows right up. I guess if I were smart, I would have this uh, stupid map memorized. And I would know where the sanctuary is. But I don't. Got a feeling that girl would have the sanctuary. Tonight, very shortly, I will be going to bed. My wife will say, hey, what were you doing tonight? And I'll say, well, I was just playing this fun little game. And she'll say, what kind of game was it? I'll say, well, it was really one where I just went around stabbing children <laughs> with an axe. And then she'll say, is it really stabbing? Is it more hatcheting, possibly, you might say. Okay, so there's the farmhouse, and so we're getting close. There we go. Where'd I go? Alright. You hiding in here somewhere? I think I'm just gonna have to wrap this up. Nope. Nope. Guess who? Ah! <laughs> I'm right behind the door. <laughs> no, 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 no! Uh. Oh, God! <laughs> I dropped my axe again. <laughs> if you're not moving and you hit the button, uh, you drop your weapon. <gasps> who was it? Who was it? Uh. Oh dear. You seem to have lost your head. What a shame. Ha ha ha. Well, it's not so funny anymore when I can turn the game off, is it? So there you go. Um. Oh. I'm worn out. It's hard work stabbing children. <laughs> Friday uh, the 13th. What a fun game. What a fun um, 
what a, a goofy idea. And I know that this was, uh, there's a Friday the 13th game uh, like on uh, NES and stuff that's nothing like this. Uh, so there are some different ports of this. Some are the same game. Some aren't. I don't, I don't know. Um, I probably went into that on the old episode of Sprite Castle. So if you want to find out more about this, go dig out the old, uh, go to podcast.robarhair.com and look through all the episodes. There is an episode for Friday the 13th, so you can uh, listen to that. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's good to be back. It's good to have power back on. It's good to have my scary red lighting oh, for Friday the 13th. It's not Friday the 13th. It's Halloween. But there's no there's a, like there's no Michael Myers game for the Commodore 64, so I had to play this instead. So, uh, Hey, thanks uh, for watching, and uh, thanks for uh, all your support. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters. And uh, I will, uh, I'm, I'm a little behind this week. Uh, the uh, lack of power over the past three days has put me behind, but I will have an episode of Sprite Castle out uh, sometime this weekend. So thanks again, and I will be seeing you guys soon. And have a uh, safe and wonderful Halloween.